first of all, uh, thank you for the opportunity from the Istio community to let me share, 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 share this presentation. Let me introduce myself. I'm Azufar, a uh, cloud engineer from Gocheck. And today we will discuss about uh, how we using Istio multi-cluster for zero downtime migration. And probably I can also share the active, active, uh, where is that, uh, traffic between Kubernetes cluster. So yeah, uh, in this meetup, I hope that we can learn some pattern uh, about this uh, setup. And I also really uh, want to see some feedback from the Istio community about, about this setup. So let me give you an introduction. Uh, from our past experience, I think, yes, yes. from our past experience, uh, the migration is always painful. Uh, so for example, between virtual machine to Kubernetes or between Kubernetes cluster. As we know that microservice is actually create dependency each other. For example, uh, when a single service is uh, uh, migrated, uh, or down, it can actually affect multiple services. So to, uh, the simple, the very simple migration step is we actually need to create a gateway or ingress uh, between the, the old Kubernetes one and the new Kubernetes one that's exposed this, this service that need to be migrated. Let me give you an example. So we have a Kubernetes, which is Kubernetes cluster 0.1. And we have three services that communicating each other that I mean, creating dependencies. So for example, merchant service calling payment service. And after that payment service is calling banking service. When we uh, migrated the payment service, the most simple way to do that is actually set up a gateway, both for payment services uh, and banking service. It should look something like this. So merchant service will call a gateway. That gateway will, will forward it to the payment service. And because payment service also communicating with banking, banking service, it's also need to communicate through a gateway. So this is, is actually very uh, simple topology. In reality, in, in our cluster or, or probably in yeah, in reality, uh, we actually have more complicated topology. Multiple service calling each other that creating a, a dependency uh, and it's really hard to, to migrate. Uh, in our past experience, we actually migrated from virtual machine to, 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 to Kubernetes. In 2016, we actually implement a service discovery in application or in application level which mean that we need to refactor all of the services, implement the service discovery in the code. And we actually create our own solution, which is console and XDS. Because uh, in 2016, we, we, we don't have no better solution for this one. And this setup, <laughs> this migration is actually still affecting us until today because no one is actually uh, managing console the console uh, cluster is very old version and no one no, no one want to touch that uh, the the running console no one want to upgrade and yeah and it's affecting our our day to day basis so i will introduce about gopay so gopay is uh, like a money for gojek uh, in gopay we have 300 uh, more than 300 microservices more than one, what is that? 115 million API call, API call each week, and more, more than 3,000 deployment every week that actually spread it into more than 10 Kubernetes cluster. So uh, we are in progress actually to move all of, all of the workload to Istio, uh, to Istio Mesh from console solution that, that, uh, that, uh, we show before, and actually, this this moving progress is will be presented uh, uh, from my college. He will present about migration migration 
about this uh, this story in Keep Calm North America, uh, 2021. So I probably need to have a short introduction about the multi cluster. I believe uh, some people here is already know the concept of steel multi cluster, but I I probably will will uh, will explain some of it. So we actually already implement uh, the old multi cluster setup in one point six, but luckily we no one no one or dev or or. Or, or system team use use this concept, and uh, so Istio actually introduced a new concept for multi cluster, and in this concept we must understand at least for 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 object, which is single or multi mesh, single or multi network, single or multi control plane, and 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 the trust model. So the first thing is uh, is a mesh. So to easily understand a mesh. Uh, we can say that every service in mesh is is unique, even in different cluster. You can see that, for example, you have a service B in cluster West and you have service B in cluster East. Both of this uh, service is actually referred to the same service. They they do they do the same thing. Uh, if the West and its cluster is actually share 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 the same mesh. Uh, the uh, the multi mesh is actually opposite of the single mesh. So every service uh, in in this uh, concept is different. So for example, you have a service B on what is that on cluster W and service B also in the cluster E. If we use uh, multi mesh, they refer to the different services. So they even even the name is is same or similar. They do they do different thing. Okay, uh, so also we have a network concept. Uh, the first thing is single network. So in single network setup, so every workload or pod or deployment or yeah, uh, I see it workload. Uh, every workload in this mesh can communicate each other directly without a gateway. So for example, you have a pod uh, or workload in net, uh, Kubernetes A and workload in Kubernetes B, they can di directly communicate each other without a gateway. Uh, the multi-network is actually opposite of single network. Workload between Kubernetes cluster in multi-network, uh, uh, they cannot communicate each other so they need to communicate via a gateway but this concept have additional advantage like uh, you can use overlapping ip between kubernetes cluster so you do not need to, to maintain the ip between kubernetes cluster they can use overlapping ip and we can scale the network separately between uh, this kubernetes cluster uh, actually uh, multi-network uh, uh, is a concept that i personally like uh, rather than a yeah, single network. So Istio actual, uh, actually automate, automatically handle the communication between this cluster via east-west gateway. So you, you have a, a specific gateway for, for this communication. And it's ensured the security since, it, and since it's uh, automatically encrypted by mutual TLS. So communication from service A to service B is actually uh, via mutual TLS, so you so you do not need to worry about it. So you also have a concept. Uh, is it is the control plane? Uh, if you have a single mesh setup, uh, you can set up the control plane in each cluster. For example, in cluster west and cluster east, or you only need to set up. Uh, you can set up the centralized control plane in only a single cluster. In this example, is cluster West. The drawback is the drawback with this uh, setup is when the primary cluster is down, uh, which is the in this example is space cluster, we lost the control plane and we cannot update the sidecar or gateway configuration. Uh, there is also another concept which is multi control plane. In multi control plane, you have uh, you will have a control plane in each cluster. 
and the control plane is communicating each other via uh, via Kubernetes API to and after that uh, I prefer this because uh, when when something uh, wrong with with the other cluster we can just make this for example if, if something wrong with cluster one uh, we can just make the cluster to independent because uh, the control plane is there yeah and we can actually remove the the mesh and we can run the cluster two without problem. And the last uh, concept is the trust model. So in multi-cluster, you need to have uh, the same trust model. Uh, you need to have, sorry, the, the same trust between uh, multiple clusters. So we can achieve that uh, using the same road CA between the cluster itself. And installing the intermediate CA uh, in, in cluster one and cluster two. So as, as far as I know, the prerequisite for, for this new multi-cluster is uh, we need to have, uh, it's better to have a DNS proxy uh, for simplicity, which is, is uh, enabled in istro one.h. And our Kubernetes node, we must take the node with topology and re topology region and topology zone. I believe in, must, in all of the cloud provider, they already automatically do this. But if you install the Kubernetes in, in for example, using, uh, using your own setup, probably we need to set up the, sorry, we need to tag the node with, with, with these things. Also, you will have additional tag, which is subzone. It is from Istio. If you use a multi-network mechanism, well, you can use East-West Gateway. And you must implement for CA between, between the control plane. Uh, I have a, some recommendation. So if you have a infrastructure component like logging or monitoring, that it's actually only specific to this cluster, you, you should not uh, uh, include this to the Istio mesh because we set up a multi-cluster. So we, uh, based on that concept, you mean uh, the mesh, the control plane, the network, we use a single mesh with a multi-network, which is multi-primary, uh, sorry, uh, multi-control plane, more, which is multi-primary, and we use also the different network. We go with this, because this is the easy, 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 easiest way to implement the multi-cluster because we do not have to think about the uh, workload to workload communication between cluster, right? So we do not need to set up VPN or something like that. We just uh, use the public network. And multi-primary control plan is also ensure us that there is no dependencies be between cluster itself. Uh, okay. Let me give you some uh, migration flow. So we have uh, two cluster. Uh, let's say we have cluster 0 0.1 and cluster 0 0.2. We want to migrate a uh, hello, world, hello world workload or services from cluster 0 0.1 to cluster 0 0.2. So the user in this case is, is, is a user from, from outside of the Kubernetes, but uh, you can also uh, call the hello world directly from, from inside the Kubernetes. So the first thing that we can do is actually to set up the mesh itself, right? We need to make sure that Kubernetes cluster 0 0.1 and cluster 0 0.2 is in the single mesh and they can communicate each other via Istio Swiss gateway. After the mesh is set up or the Istio multi-cluster is set up, uh, you can just directly install the, sorry, install the hello world directly to the cluster 0 0.2. In this case, Istio public gateway or, or the mass will automatically load balance the traffic between hello world in cluster one and hello world in cluster two. It's automatically do that. And if we already confident to migrate, we can just delete the service in cluster 0 0.1 and automatically uh, the traffic from gateway in cluster 0 0.1 will automatically forward it to the cluster 0 0.2. In this state, if something happened, we can just uh, install or roll back the, 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 the hello world in cluster 0 0.1. If something happened, 
in this case, we can just roll back, right? But if we are already confident to, to migrate this one, we can just install the same gateway uh, like the Kubernetes cluster 0.1 and just redirect the user uh, or the DNS record to point to the gateway in cluster 0.2. And the migration is very easy. The user does not need to change a domain, does not need to change anything. And we can just deprecate the cluster 0 0.1 if, if our services is already updated. So let me give you a demo. So, okay, I will just, okay, let me control C this first. And so, wait a second. Okay, so we have a cluster, which is, I have a cluster 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Uh, let me see if this connects. Okay, so we have cluster 0 0.1 and cluster 0 0.2. And we have a pod that uh, need to be migrated. For example, we want to make that example hello world v1. And in Kubernetes 0 0.2, let me just uh, delete this first because it's already there actually. So, okay, uh, the first thing I need to do is I will remove the, 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 the services. Okay, so we will only have uh, example hello world v1 in cluster one, and we will have no example hello world v1 in cost two it's terminating so let's scroll the the service uh, uh this is the ip of the public gateway in cluster 0 0.1 so you see that it's going to 6p fc and something like that. so Let's say that we want to migrate to cluster 0 0.2. The first thing we need to do is we need to, to install the, the example hello, hello world v1 in cluster 0 0.2, right? So let me just scale it up. When it's scale, it will automatically load balance. Let's say it's still 1.2 running. Yeah, it's starting to load balance to KTH. I believe this is KTH, right? It's load balance between KTH and what is the 6CN uh, something. And it's the traffic automatically load, load balance between cost and zero points. In this state, we actually uh, crawl from a uh, gateway in cost of 0.1. If we are already confident enough, we can just uh, remove the class, the, the service, which is hello world v1 in cluster 0 0.1. So let me just uh, scale it down to zero. And the traffic seems already redirect to the cluster 0 0.2 automatically. So, yep. And if we already confident enough, we can, we can install the same uh, gateway in cluster 0 0.2. So you see, I'm also call to the same domain, but with the different IP, which is in this, in this case is 5164. The previous one is 525, uh, sorry, 247, right? When I call this, yep. It's working. So we, we curl this domain to the new to the new what is that to the new cluster. And yep, we can just directly delete the gateway and change the, the DNS config, sorry, the DNS record to point only to the to the new gateway, something like that. So yep. Sorry, uh, I think I already demoed this one. Actually, I create a video, but yeah. So we also imp can implement this thing for active and active 
uh, flow. So for example, uh, in Kubernetes 0 0.1, we have 100% traffic go to this cluster. And we want, uh, for example, 10% traffic or 15% traffic to go to the club Kubernetes cluster 0 0.2. We can achieve this automatically via STO. Sorry, via STO service mesh. So we can configure percentage of uh, via locality uh, load balancer. And yeah, we, we, we have active and active Kubernetes cluster. We probably also can set up uh, some uh, DNS record, what is that? DNS resolution based on the region. So if you more close to the cluster 0 0.1, you go to the cluster 0 0.1. If you more close to the cluster 0 0.2, you go to cluster 0 0.2, All right? And uh, still multi-cluster can also use for failover cluster level. So for example, you implement 90% of traffic and 10% of traffic, 90% uh, to the cluster 0 0.1 and 10% go to the cluster 0 0.2. For example, when the Kubernetes cluster 0 0.1 is uh, thought completely down, uh, we will have a downtime actually if we do not do something in 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 the user level, like like for example, implementing a health check in the DNS record or something like that. But the migration or or, or the fallback is pretty simple. We only need to create the gateway, this the same gateway in cluster 0 0.2, and we just change the DNS record to point to the cluster 0 0.2. And yeah, the user can 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 access the service again. Uh, from our side, we actually have feedback for 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 this for this uh, Istio multi cluster. So, actually, uh, the load balance the load balancer on cluster level is tricky. So, since we cannot load balance the traffic based on the Kubernetes cluster. So currently the locality load balancer is only support based on the region, zone and subzone, which is, uh, I show you it before. And, and yeah, we have a hard time to define the correct load balancer rule from the destination rule. For example, 90% 90, 90 go to the cluster one and 10% and go to the cluster 0 0.2. Yep, I think, uh, uh, my presentation my presentation is done it's 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 probably just quick presentation for me mm -hmm.